What's going on guys and welcome to another unboxing. Here we go guys, another unboxing right here. This is another mystery box. Uh, I bought it from one of my buddies in one of his rooms that he does on social media. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with some of these toy rooms that they have, they do like live auction and you say claim or you say in or whatever the hell you say. Uh, in this particular one, I said to him, make me something cool. I don't want anything crazy, I just want something cool. Um, gave him a little bit of a budget on this one. I said 350 bucks is my budget. I didn't want to go crazy because I've been getting crazy lately. And I've changed my budget recently. I used to be spending about $2,000 on toys a week. I was up 2000 Gatman's here, I'm Riley. Uh, I was spending about $2,000 and change a month on toys. I was using from reseller reasons and things like that. Uh, but then I was realizing I was getting out of control because there was a lot more statues I wanted to buy. So I figured, let me calm down because I, I gotta be a little more of an adult. Shut up. But anyway, let's get into this box. It's from a really cool friend of mine. His name's Paul. Uh, he is based out of, I believe, Pennsylvania now. Ironically, I met him randomly on the internet and he was once upon a time a Long Islander like me and Gatman. Uh, I actually have a surprise because some of this is actually for Gatman. Now, the reason why some of it is because it's Star Wars related. So I said, hey, listen, I got 350 bucks to spend this month on random stuff for my store, but my friend is also a huge Star Wars fan. So add some Star Wars stuff from him and he can pick whatever he wants from the Star Wars lot. So Gatman, this box is based around you, my friend. Aww. So we got a couple Star Wars pieces last time too, which is pretty cool. Now I'm looking into it. I probably shouldn't look into it, but uh, this is actually a double piece right here. So we'll open, oh, this is off the bat, pretty cool. I, you wanna see if you wanna, you wanna do the numbers and see if anything's worth anything? Hold on. Hold on. Watch out, Riley. Should I stay like this until you come back? Yeah. And we're back. Okay, so what we're gonna do is Gatman is gonna pull out his cell phone. I am gonna break, say with the pieces. He's gonna type it in real quick. We're gonna see what the total is on the piece. We spent $350 on this box. I'm sure it's probably not $350 because I lost money last time. I'll probably lose money this time. So Gatman, first piece is a really cool piece. It is the Star Wars Revenge of the Sith Clone Commander. Give you guys a... That's a pretty cool piece, though, dude. Yeah. I couldn't see being worth more than $5, though. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and guess. Gat is going to tell us what it's worth. All right. Prices are everywhere. What are we thinking? We've got Amazon at 40 Amazon at $40 for this? eBay at 10 eBay at 15, eBay at 25, Amazon at 32. Okay, so let's meet in the middle of 15. I think 15 is a fair number. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go $15 on the first one. We are now down to $335. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> the next piece is a newer piece. Oh, this is Gatman's boy right here. It is Django Fett with Firing Gauntlet. But anyway, right here, we got the Django piece right there. While Gat looks up the price for us. Hey, come on. Amazon, $45.59. So if it's Amazon for $45, that's actually a really good amount. I'm gonna say 20 bucks because the truth of the matter is, if I could sell it for $45, I will, but- That is 20 bucks. So we're gonna leave it at 20 bucks. And the truth is, I might only sell for $15. But 20 bucks it is. So we are $35 into the box. Gatman's already interested in it. Would you like it, Gatman? It is Gatman's toy. Gatman, don't worry because there looks like there is a ton of Star Wars. So the next one up. Oh my God, Gatman. I don't even want to give this one to you because I want this one, but I'm going to give it to you if you want it. Are you ready? Yeah. It is Attack of the Clones, Boba Fett, oh my Camino God. Escape. So it's actually Boba Fett as a kid. I'm curious to see what this piece is worth. Why would anybody ever want this? This is so stupid. Oh. Up, uh, up. Uh. All right. Okay, we got a number. We'll say twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. All right. So we'll go ten. All right. I'm sure you want that. Yeah. That's... This one I'm keeping. Though you can't have this one. We'll this is that. Anakin Skywalker hanger duel. So another Star Wars piece. This line is just a really cool line of these characters. So I actually really do enjoy it. I, I would pray to God that he gave me Yoda in this box. He gave me Yoda in this box. I'm stoked because I love me some Yoda. The clone troopers do look pretty cool too. 
There's a lot of cool. There's a lot of cool Can things back in the day. Um, it is the dual, dual light. Okay. Yes. Yeah. He's got a weird um, face. He's got a go really, Walmart. really funky face. If you can see that. Walmart's at twelve. Amazon's at twenty-five. So I'm gonna go fifteen. That's fair. Because people are starting to like Anakin, the actor, again. So I, I, I appreciate. Yeah. It. I like. Oh, this whole box is like Star Wars. <gasps> oh my god. This box is worth every penny. That's what I just saw, but I'm not gonna go any further because I flipped the flap and I just saw something, so I'm not even gonna go into it. You got it? Oh my god. Django and Boba Fett oh action god. figure. This one is wildly awesome. So the Unleashed Star Wars figures are probably some of the coolest Star Wars. I apologize for the ring are probably some of the coolest Star Wars figures that they ever made. I'm a huge fan of them. This piece is really badass because it's an action shot with Django and Boba. But honestly, Gatman, it is a little tore up. But yeah. I, I would love to give this to you because I think it is so freaking awesome. And even though it's tattooed, it's still cool for your collection. On eBay, oh, some numbers here. with a way better box than this, Yeah. Is going for 50 bucks. 50 bucks. So we're going to say that that one's going to be, would we get 15 or 20 bucks for it? It's pretty rough. Yeah, it's rough. We're going to say $15 on it because the box is pretty catted up and oh that's just how we roll God. with things. But that's very cool. Now, there's a stack of stuff here, Gatman. I don't know if you're going to be able to do all this quick because you're a little bit slow with things. But we have a, oh, this is from, this is when they started redoing all the action figures. So it's a Hans. So these next ones, Gatman, are Star Wars, The Power of the Force. This is Han Solo with a bla with a blaster pistol. These usually don't sell at all, and I'm sure that's why my buddy made this box for me because he was like, "Let me put a bunch of Star Wars crap in there, and if he sells, he has he sells the best, it, yeah, five bucks, five bucks." So five dollars on that. So I don't see that, but I know it's I know what I see over there, and I know for a fact it's a three hundred dollar item. So if I make all the money on these or not, cool. This is really weird. So this is Anakin Skywalker with a lightsaber, but it looks like some old man. I don't. What the heck is this? No, a, that's the four. So you remember at the end? Oh yes. The, the force goes. Oh, so if he was a good guy, is what he would have turned into. What does it say, Anakin Skywalker? Uh, Anakin Skywalker with lightsaber. Uh, it says flashback photo. So that's cool, and it comes with a little like a uh, little flashback of him being a little Annie and stuff. So I don't know. These figures were never really too cool to me. I think I bought one of them. Only one of them I liked, and I bought eight uh, bucks on eBay. Eight bucks on eBay. Okay, so we're gonna put it as five bucks because that's all it would be worth to me. The next one is our good friend Chewbacca with a blast rifle and a little flash photo right here. So Chewbacca, I'm sorry, with a bowcaster rifle, and he looked like he did a mountain of cocaine. Um, so. I'm going to chalk it up to Cocaine Chewbacca. Five bucks. Five bucks. We got a bunch of $5 items here. That's all we got. Right. Oh, this is a cool one. This is a different one. This is Star Wars Power of the Jedi, and it's FX7. Power of the Jedi FX7. What do you got over there for me, Gaddy? Jedi. What is it? F Power of the Jedi FX7. So, I don't know. Funky looking robot. Can't be more than... Five bucks, but we'll see. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, we got something. What do we got? eBay is $28.95. Walmart is $28.95. So let's do 20 bucks then. eBay, $40. Um, uh, Marikai, what is it called? Whatever. Uh, 41 Okay. So if we did it for 25 is that cool? Yeah. All right. Well, who knew? That was an interesting one. But here's your boy, Mr. Darth Vader himself. Now, again, guys, there's like a thousand series of Star Wars. This one comes with a, uh, so the Power of the Jedi Star Wars, uh, it says eight info-packed pages. So it comes with a little book on it in the inside. That's pretty cool. But something like this one go for, Mr. Gat. It goes for that. It's going to be 10 bucks. I mean, I bet you 10 bucks. I have a feeling $10. 10, 15. All right, so we'll do it at 10. We'll lowball it because I'd rather lowball it than whatever the case may be. Oh, another flashback photo with your boy, Obi-Wan Ben Kenobi, or Ben Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, so a little flashback photo of what he looked like in episode one and that. Ben it's a little rough on the package, but we can clean it up a little bit. Honestly, these, these cards are really, really, really well kept, but 
I don't see things like this going for that much money. And I, whether they sell or not, great. If they don't, I don't give a shit. What do we got, Gaddy? Six bucks. Six dollars. So we'll go to five. So, Gatman, we have the Star Wars Power of the Force Luke Skywalker with blaster rifle and electrono bio bi binoculars. I'm sorry. Wow. With blaster. With blaster rifle and electro binoculars. So. The, again, if you guys aren't a fan of Star Wars, I totally get it, but I actually asked for a mystery box um, of Star Wars pieces. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. So, seven dollars. So, we'll chalk it up as five. Okay? We got it for seven. It's, it's worth seven bucks. We're going to make it worth five. Nope. Gatman's absolute favorite. So, favorite. So, Gatman, Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, Clone Trooper. If you guys, oh, I'm gonna move this table up. So, if you guys are Star Wars fans in any way, shape, or form, and you are, uh, it is from Hasbro. If you're interested in any way, shape, or form of any of the products you see during this unboxes, unboxing, you can check these out over at my live Macari account. Here it is, right here. It's that simple. You log on, you find a product you like. If you buy multiple, you do receive discounts at all times. And we are sponsored today by. What's the name of your fucking company, Yeah. Oh, Viking Central Vacuum. And we are sponsored today by Viking, Viking Central, Central Vacuum. Vacuum. Make sure to follow Viking Central, Central Vacuum, Vacuum at this Instagram link right here. Anyway, back to your regular scheduled programming. So, Gatman, Star Wars, so Revenge of Slip. 15 bucks. 15 bucks. What was it selling for, did you say? Anywhere in between 12 to 25. Anywhere between 12 to 25. I narrowed it down, guys. 15 bucks. I'm not trying to rob anybody. I'm trying to make people happy. Even though I know you're looking at that one. Oh, it was actually... Oh, Gat, look at this. Would you look at that? Would you look at that, <laughs> Gatman? <laughs> Gatman, Revenge of the Sith, Clone Commander. Clone Commander. Gat Again, bro. guys, all these things. I, I apologize about the ring. I can't seem to get around it. But these are all in really great shape. Uh, again, I bought this from another uh, toy collector seller. And, yeah, he sold me this set, which is looks like it's mostly Star Wars. There is one piece in here that's definitely going to break me over even. 10 to 25. 10 to 25 bucks, so we'll chalk it up to uh, 15. 15 bucks right here for this clone commander, or do you want it? Put it in the pile. We'll put it in the pile. Oh, you think you got one already? Well, this is actually... I can tell you if there's a difference. It is a clone trooper. Another clone trooper. Would you like a clone trooper? If not, we'll put it back up on the list for 15 bucks. 15 bucks. 15 bucks, little man. Put that shit in my hand. If that money doesn't show, you owe me, owe me, owe. And if you tell me what movie that's from right now in the comments, I will give you a free Star Wars piece value to $5. But anyway, back to what we have going on in here. Oh, Gatman, we're still in the Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. Give me Emperor Palpatine. So... This dickhead right here. Again, the ring is... I'm so sorry, guys, about the ring. But uh, these... You know what? When we were growing up, these Revenge of the Sith um, boxes are actually way cooler Amazing. than the regular square ones. Yeah. What do we get for this? Probably $5. I no. Think. Whoa. More than 5 I'm going anywhere from 15 to 33 So do you want to do 25 I want to do 22. We're going to do 22 on this. All right, he's a douche. We're going to do 22. So, there's that. <laughs> Gatman, the next one up is probably one I would actually keep because it looks really tight. So, we are still in the same one. We are in Grievous's Bodyguards. Pretty cool piece. I've never been into Star Wars toys at all. As if, obviously, you guys know I'm into Power Rangers and statues and Marvel and all that. Never really a big Star Wars guy. I do have the Bobo Fett, Bobo Fett statue, which I am super obsessed with. But... Some of these Star Wars toys are $10. pretty freaking cool. So we're going at $10. Do yeah, you think we're making back our money in this box? Because there is a lot. Um, I'm, I don't know. I think we're going through the, the, the gimmies right now. I think we're I'm keeping good. this. Talk Star me. Wars Attack of the Clones. Wars. And this is R3T7. R3T7. This is awesome. It's like R2-D2 getting his, his his shit zapped. I want to keep it because it looks so cool with the little electric shock in it. I think that toys got cooler when he started add, adding the effects. 
like where you didn't have to pull a, str a trigger and make it spark or anything like that. There was a line of Spider-Man toys where you'd pull the trigger and they would spark up, but I'm sure a couple houses burnt down shortly after that. What do we got on this? Five to ten. Wow, five to ten dollars. I'm going to only put it up for five bucks, but I might keep it because I think it's that cool. All right, five bucks. The first, whoa, this is awesome. Attack of the Clones, uh, Dexter, uh, Jetster. Dexter, Jetster. This is awesome. These some of these some of these Attack of the Clones are uh, are pretty awesome. Dexter Jetster. Hasbro, right? Hasbro. I mean, you gotta get twenty bucks or something like this. This is just a cool ass piece. eBay has it anywhere from eight to twenty one. So let's do fifteen. I like that. I don't think it'll sell for fifteen. I think it'll sell for ten. But I think this is really cool. This is a cool little piece. It's got yeah. a big old dent on the side, which probably hurts it. But you know what? It's a heavy piece. It's got a little bit of pieces to it. I like that. What else we got? We got the next one up. We got. Is your boy, same brand, Return of the Jedi, Han Solo. He's not your boy, though. Yeah. So, um, these particular ones are quick action, so they have movement to them. So, I like how they put in the back of the car, the like little swinging things they do and stuff. Again, not my cup of tea, not the branding I like, but... Seven bucks. Seven bucks, so we're going to put it at five. We're going to be modest. Now, if you guys are wondering why I'm going so low on the prices, it's because... The truth of the matter is, if I can give somebody a good deal, I want to give people a good deal. Uh, and again, this episode is sponsored by Viking Central Vacuum. Check them out over here at this Instagram right here. And don't forget, if you see anything you like during this mystery unboxing, you can check it out my Macari right here. Okay. All right, Gat, let's keep it moving, buddy. This one I might keep because it, it is my boy. So this is Attack of the Clones Yoda. See it real quick? Yeah. So, the, I remember when these came out, and I don't remember them being a very hot item for people to want, but I do remember a couple of them being very cool. Again, I wasn't a Star Wars guy. I know I say it a hundred times. But I think now that I'm older and I appreciate Star Wars a lot more, and honestly, Gatman's put me onto a lot of things. Like I didn't realize all the Disney shows are a part of the entire thing. So, like the Marvel Universe, there's 50 different movies. Star Wars got 5 billion episodes, and they all tie into one another. What are we looking at? Yeah, 10 bucks. I I probably keep this one for 10 bucks. I'll be honest with you. I like that one. This one's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably keep that. Next one on this setup right here, Gaddy, is Attack of the Clones R2-D2. R2-D2. I love R2-D2. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but I kind of feel like I understood what the hell R2-D2 was saying in every single episode or every single show. He's just, he's like a dick. And I appreciate that about him as a, as a character. It's just a robot. But I know, that didn't he, the, the, the guy who wrote around in him pass away recently? I believe so. I think he did. So RIP to him. 5 to 15. So 5 to 15 for this. I'm going to put it at 10 because I just like it. And if it didn't sell, I wouldn't be upset about it. It's got a couple of critters with it, but whatever. That's cool. But it's my boy, the GOAT, Phantom Menace, Darth Maul. I love Darth Maul. I honestly... Haven't found a statue yet that I want to keep for the collection, but I love Darth Maul. He is my favorite character. I'm pissed he got chopped in half, but I do know they brought him back multiple times. Um, this is Darth Maul Sith training, so it's like a young Darth Maul, and he's got uh, tiny little spikes on his head. Gat, you ever seen that before? Like it's like kid Darth Maul. He's got uh, little spikes on his head. It's not the actual Darth Maul oh, that we tiny know. Spikes, so yeah. Big spikes. Yeah, so he's not, like, fully developed yet. I guess it's puberty and stuff. He's got to get his horns. What do you think? Yeah, I'm uh, looking at 15 bucks. 15 bucks. I, I probably won't sell it because I think that's cool that it's, like, baby Darth Maul, but we do put it in the pile for the future. Oh, here's one from the Phantom Menace. Still the Attack of the Attack Clones. clones. Uh, Tan Wee? Tan Wee. Tan Wee. T-A-U-N-W-E. One of the aliens on the, the, the ship. She helped... Uh, develop the clones. So we, we had a little glitch in the system. Ten bucks. Ten bucks right here for Tom Wee. Oh, the douchebag himself, guy, man. Mr. Palpatine. Supreme Chancellor Palpatine. This is actually a really nice figure. This is probably the nicest one I've ever seen. Out of all his line. I mean, the detail in this is crazy. He's got his hands crossed. It actually looks like him, too. So this is really cool. Um... I don't think I have the whole set. I'd love to get a Qui-Gon. I've never had a Qui-Gon before. The box in this one is a little tattooed, so judging on what Gatman tells me right now, 
which is ten bu- uh, twelve bucks. So I'm actually gonna put it down to ten bucks because it's got a little bit of roughness to it. So we'll put that for ten bucks on that. Uh, oh, this is fire, Count Dooku, bro. Dukes. The Dukes. So this is cool because it's uh, with light slashing saber action. So this particular uh, Dooku comes with. The little hologram of who we were just talking about, the Chancellor, um, a.k.a. The, the the Sith Lord himself. But this is really nice. A nice figure. It comes with a lot. Some of these pieces do have a lot of stuff to them, and I really do appreciate that. Um, there is a Jango Fett, a Mace Windu, um, and this. So it's only worth 10 bucks. Now, a few seconds ago, I was actually talking to get. Oh, it's definitely... What the... Who the hell is this? I was just telling Gatman about these Episode One action figures... So Star Wars Episodes 1, Adi Galia. You know who Adi Galia is? Let me see. Um, so this Adi Galia figure, what had happened was when they made this series, they came with a little microchip, and the microchip actually had... A base. Uh, had a base. So... It almost looked like a walkie-talkie. Yeah, the ComTech. I'm looking at it right now. So I think I'm going to buy a ComTech. I yeah. think we need to find one. So these little ComTechs right here were what you would put the microchip on top of, and it would do voices of the actual character. So five that was bucks. very cool. So five bucks in this. I'll probably just give it away for free uh, to somebody who buys something else. The next one is not a repeat, but it is very awesome, and I'm probably not selling this one. This would be a Tuscan Raider with his dog. Honestly, this is awesome. This is a very, very, very cool piece. I, I oh they have a Watu, they have a couple other pieces in here. I this is really awesome. Ooh, Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. I will sell it actually. I won't keep next up. Oh, we got the bro. We got Mr. Mace Windu doing a screaming I got a poop face. So <laughs> we are missing one who I will certainly keep when it comes in, and that's Django, because I gave Gatman all the other Django's. But um this Mace Windu has a little swing in action to him. Very cool. Nine Samuel L. Jackson. Nine bucks right there. Okay. All right. The next one is Lot Dodd. Lottie. Lottie Dotty. So this is one of those bastards in the ship who was just talking all that craziness. Um, eight bucks. Eight bucks. Okay. He's from the Trade Federation. Gavin. I got a problem. Mm. We got to stop the video because there's chicken boiling over on a pot downstairs. Mm. Today is sponsored by Viking Central Vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back again. And if you are interested by any of the things that you were seeing on this episode here at the L Collections on the channel, this stuff is for sale. You can check out this Macari right here. It is all for sale. Huh. So let's keep it going, Gaddy Gat Gat. Oh, this is awesome. Attack of the Clones Tuscan Raider. Again. But this one's like one with like a baby raider. It's kind of creepy looking, actually. With the baby? Yeah, with the little baby one. At Walmart, it's uh, $10.99. So we're going to go 10 bucks in that. That's just cool. A little bit of veining on the back, but honestly, very cool piece. Oh, who do we got here, Gaddy Boy? Gaddy Boy! Oh, Princess Leia with a wicked six pack. Oh, Slave Leia? Uh, no, that's not, that's Padme. Oh, Padme. Padme with a wicked six pack. Doesn't look anything like her. She has a crazy forehead, respectfully, of course. But um, yeah, I can't see this being more than 10 bucks. There's no way. Five bucks. Five bucks. I knew it was going to be a cheap one. God, I don't think we're, I think we're going to break even on this box again, and it sucks. And I got to tell you, I'm not happy with it, but if you guys aren't in the pieces, like I said, you can buy them on my Macari. That is where they will be. Ooh, this is cool. Royal Guard, Gat, man. Royal freaking Guard, dude. The The best part is we have two of them, Gat. Two of them. Seven bucks. So seven bucks, we're going to do... That's cool, he gave you two. That's cool, he gave me two. Did you want one? No. Nah. Gat, man, he doesn't like the Royal Guards. I thought he liked the Royal Guards. What about Darth Vader, Gat? Your boy. See, the Darth Vader one's cool because it's it's from the Empire Strike, Strikes Back movie. And it has like this, it comes with like parts of the 
um, I guess the the interior of the sh of the the ship they're in. Ten bucks. And it has some damage to it, so that's that's pretty cool. He's using the force. I like that. I like that, Darth and Darth. We have oh what? This is crazy. This is Luke Skywalker from the Empire Strikes, Empire Strikes Back. Listen, I'm gonna sell this as a set. It's this yeah, scene right man. here. You have to. That's yeah. freaking cool. But. It's funny because, like, when you look at this and you see the little detached hand right here because it gets cut off, it's funny because nowadays when you buy any figure from Hasbro, you get all these change outs with these hands. So that's really freaking awesome. And it actually comes with the uh, the piece that he hangs off of. 20 bucks. When he falls out, 20 bucks. I'm going to sell the set for 25. That's a nice, that's perfect. That's a, that's a set, man. I am, These two are going as a set on the website. Discount five bucks. If you buy them both. I like that. I actually like one of these last two pieces that we have. But who the hell is this? Das Sfoa. Sounds like a German guy. But while Gatman is doing that, we have another Jedi. Um, Kit Fisto right here. Uh, he's the alien that looks like an octopus. So I noticed at his collection, I didn't really get any other Jedis. We got Mace. We got Dooku. We got Aji Gala. Seven bucks. But we didn't really get anything else after that. That sucks. We're going to do it five bucks. Um, so what about this guy? Yeah, give me something on this. Kit Fisto. Seven bucks. So we're going to do it at five bucks because, again, it is what it is. All right. So we are going to tally this all up. Give us just one second. In the meantime, while we're tallying it up, check out our sponsor right here at their website or their Instagram. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you check them out because they are the best central vac in town. And if you don't live on Long Island, you can't use them. But they'll go to Connecticut and they'll go to New York City. But that's it. They won't go anywhere else. So, sorry. Unless you got like a cool spot that you can helicopter me in. Unless you can helicopter in the spot. But this is our sponsor. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're back and we actually did a lot better than I thought. We did break a profit if we sell every single piece. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, on those pieces alone, if I sold every single one individual and every single one was to be purchased, uh, and some people did buy more than one, I do do I do give get discounts on uh, the Macari page, but Macari also charges a fee. So before we give you guys a grand total, I want you to go show you guys the last piece, which this actual seller knows that I'm a fan. And... I don't know if he knows that all the Star Wars stuff he sold me. I think he thought he was getting rid of it by selling me this mystery box. But I know how much this next piece is worth. At least I'm sh I think I I think I do. I'm going to look it up. You're going to look it up anyway. Absolutely. And then we're going to tell everybody the grand total. So, in this box is a very heavy piece. Not very heavy. It's not heavy at all. Now, for those of you who grew up in the 90s, uh, enjoyed, you know, the Pokemons, the Digimons, which I'm a huge Digimon guy lately. I don't know what's, what has been on my mind about Digimon, but I've just been trying to rebuy them left and freaking right. But um, as I've searched my, my past and trying to get some of the old vintage stuff, it has been nothing short of a pain in my ass. However, the world of Gundam has exploded. And I never expected Gundam to be so freaking cool in my life. This, however, is not Gundam. This is, in fact, cooler than that. This is the Zoids. Now, guys, this is the Liger Zero Panzer. This is an incredible, incredible, incredible model. They are extremely expensive and extremely rare. Now... Again, I'm thinking that my friend who sold me the mystery box wanted me to make money, but I think he felt the, the Star Wars toys are worth nothing. Even though we turned a profit, and even though it's not a big profit, it actually does work out really, really well in our favors. But if it wasn't for this, we would make literally almost even. I mean, if you take 10% out of the money I'm going to tell you, uh, it brings us literally to what the cost of the box was until you add this boy to it. Now... This box does have some dings. It does have some bings. But the intention of someone who's going to buy this is that they are going to buy it because they want to open it. Now, I am going to open it. it they usually are open. It's, they aren't a... Um, these do not come sealed. That's 
Okay, so what's inside of these Liger boxes is very simple. It is a model kit. They're not metal, they are a very nice plastic, but they're just like for all the Gundam fans and everybody. Now this is a brand new set, so it has every little piece to it and it is so cool. But when you build these things, they are rather big and they do have a bit of intricacy to them when you're building them. So when we were growing up, I actually have a couple Ligers for sale on my Macari page. Um, this one I am probably gonna sell only because I need to, because I need to make money on this box. So, Gatman, I'm gonna tell everybody the number of what we did for all the Star Wars stuff. And it doesn't include the stuff I gave you. So now mind you guys this, I gave Gatman about $40 worth of things. 30 or 40, what'd you say, 30? This is like 40. So about $40, $40 worth of action figures I gave Gatman. So that means that the total, including what I gave Gatman, came out to $443 in just the Star Wars stuff alone. Now, minus the $40, it leaves us down to 403. You take away 10% from Macari fees and potentially any other things that people, deals that people make, it brings me down to my break even. But that goes without saying for this Liger right here. Gatman, what is the total for one of these pieces? So I took the three totals that I found. Yes. And got the average. And the average is? $261. $261 for just this piece alone. Now, I know they're super sought out for, and I know that people are very nervous to buy them from other people, but I put this in the video and opened it up so that you could see that it is brand new. This is awesome. And I gotta tell you, if it didn't sell, and I just sold all the Star Wars stuff, and I just kept this for my PC, I would be totally okay with it, because I love this figure, and I think it's absolutely amazing. Would you build it? I would build it, definitely. But that means that if we do 265 plus 403, brings our grand total to $668 for a cost of $350 with shipping, which means our total profit is $300. And $13. I think I did that math right in the first shot. I think so. I wasn't listening, but I'm just going to say it sounded good. If I butcher that math, comment below and just tell me I'm an idiot. But anyway, guys, I'm really excited you guys joined me on another mystery unboxing. Sometimes these things really suck. This one really panned out. I try to buy mystery boxes as much as possible. And I think I'm going to start bringing more of them to the channel. But look, if you guys ever have any questions, and if you're ever interested in anything I have going on in the Dave Cave or anything I have going with DI Collections, please comment and subscribe, like, like all that stuff, and I'll be more happy to share whatever information I have with you guys. I'm not the most knowledgeable with comic books. I just buy what I like, I know what I like, and I learn what I wanna learn. Other than that, I just love what I do. I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed this unboxing. My name is Dave. We This is Gatman right over here. Say bye, Gat. Viking Central Vacuum. I'm trying to promote you, not you, idiot. Say goodbye. 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 And don't forget to check out our sponsor, Viking Central Vacuum, right here. And don't forget to check out the Macari right here. And don't forget to check us out on the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. From DL Collections, I'm your boy, DL Castell. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time.